Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Isis and this is Rubel Nursery. Please ignore my dog. If you can hear her or see her at any point during this video, she doesn't want to take a nap. So she can nap. Today I want to talk about my four favorite plants from October rare or uncommon types. So let's just get right into the video. The first one is this Philodendron Splendid. It is just a one leaf cutting but it's doing really nicely with the roots and there even is a new growth point coming in. You cannot eat these. I am honestly obsessed with philodendrons. They're probably my favorite genus of plant. So I'm kind of on a mission to collect all of my favorite ones and just have them all. It does have a little tear in the leaf but that's okay she's gorgeous and when she grows up I know it'll be beautiful. Staying on that philodendron train is my philodendron strawberry shake. She does need a little bit more water in her cup. She is also just a cutting but the variegation on this thing is insane. Look at that and I love the pink stem. There's a bunch of variegation in the stem as well and the roots are pink which I think is awesome. I have wanted a philodendron strawberry shake for who knows how long and I could never find one that was priced reasonably or even anyone in my area that was selling one. So when I did finally come across this one, immediately I jumped on it. It was part of an auction and luckily I saw it in like the middle of the night. I was the last person to bid on it and I actually won because of that. So thank you Facebook for giving me notifications hours after it's posted. So because I've wanted this plant for so long and it is more of a rare plant, I am trying to take very good care of it. It's in my cabinet. It's got distilled water to propagate in and I'm only gonna give it the best soil once I do pot it up and I'll probably make a video on that. It will be way, way in the future though because it is rooting pretty slow. I'm probably going to put a pothos cutting in there soon just to help the roots, but yeah, not anytime soon, unfortunately, but I can't wait to see the variegation on any of the new leaves and just what it looks like as it matures because God, this plant is just gorgeous. I mean, if you've never wanted a strawberry shake before now, uh, consider changing your mind because that pink is just to die for. Philodendron is one of my favorites just because there's so many different varieties. You can get common types, rarer types, and they're all just beautiful. So the next plant I have is also a philodendron because I got a bunch this month. And honestly, if you aren't searching big box stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Smith's, things like that for plants, then what are you doing? Because I got this next plant at a Lowe's, I think, and it came with a cover pot. The cover pot's not on it right now because it just got watered. You'll see it's very sad. But I got the this full plant and a cover pot for $20, which is amazing because a while ago I bought a one leaf cutting of the same philodendron, I think for $25, and it brought spider mites into my house and died. <laughs> So I'm glad to have this plant back in my collection and the fact that I get a full plant instead of just a cutting is also great because I don't have to wait for it to grow. I mean, watching cuttings grow is great, don't get me wrong, but let me just show you this plant. I am warning you, it is sad. I just watered it, so it'll be okay tomorrow. <laughs> but it is my Philodendron Fuzzy Petiole. And this was the biggest leaf on it when I bought it actually a pretty decent sized leaf especially for being $20. There's a new leaf coming in right here as well as a bunch of little babies coming in on the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera but it does have the fuzzy petioles um, on all of the leaves which is just something that I feel like is super unique and I also really enjoy on this plant just like how plush it looks especially in the light and when it's not wilted it looks gorgeous but yeah I got this at Lowe's I think for like I said $20 and it's probably one of the best impulse purchases I've ever made because because my last one died and I was like oh maybe I won't get another one and then I saw on Facebook 
that they were selling a bunch of them at Lowe's and so I just had to run down there and they still had a whole bunch left. So it's always really important to check those plant sections because you might find something good within everything else. Like all those people that found Monstera Thai constellations at Home Depot, I wish that could have been me. Okay, the last plant on my favorites list for this month is definitely a more rare plant and that is Epipremnum albo. You might be thinking Epipremnum like apothos. No, Epipremnum is a completely different thing than apothos. Um, Epipremnums have narrow, narrower leaves and they fenestrate a lot quicker than apothos would, especially in household conditions. So let me just show you. This is apothos. This is what it regularly gets confused for. Um, and a lot of people do scam for it, but it's very clear once you see the real plant to tell the difference. So this is what mine looks like. And as you can see, the leaves are a lot more narrow and they will be narrow forever. They'll grow bigger, but they'll still be more narrow than a pothos will. And not only because this plant is so unique that it's in my favorites list, but when I got it, it actually put this leaf out for me, a half moon, a beautiful one, might I add. And it's giving me a little baby right here as well. I am just growing it in the cup that he gave it to me in, uh, Lekka, and I think, I don't know what this is, pond, maybe? I'm not sure, but I just water it. The roots are really good in this, actually. I'm just kind of afraid to repot it because it's easy for me this way and I don't want to kill it off, especially before it gets more mature. But the variegation on some of these leaves is just gorgeous. Like this one, it doesn't really look like a full leaf. I don't know if it got ripped off or something, but it's beautiful. And it's like that on all the leaves. You can see like a lighter green here turning into white. And then my half moon, it's got a little green up at the top right here as well. And this plant has actually been really easy. Um, I've checked on it and it's been out of water and it hasn't started wilting or anything. I do keep it in my cabinet, but it does seem to grow pretty fast. I haven't had it for that long. It's put out this leaf and this new baby popping in right there. It also looks like it might put on another one right here, which I'm hoping it does so I can get another half moon because I've never gotten a perfect half moon before. This is probably one of my most favorite plants, at least as of right now, that I have just because it's so unique and not something I see at all um, where I'm from. So I really like just looking at it. Definitely as it gets bigger, I'll keep updates, especially on my Instagram and a little bit on my TikTok as well. So if you want to stay up to date with that, the links for those will be down below. And then whenever I do decide to repot it, I'll make a video. Maybe I could repot this and both of my cuttings in the same video, so long as this keeps growing. That's all for today though, guys. Short, sweet video just about some of my favorite plants. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to, leave a comment down below with some of your favorite plants that you got in October and why. Links for everything will be down in the description, TikTok, Instagram, all the things that I love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new here, I put out planty videos every Saturday. I hope you come along for the ride. We talk about plants, we talk about nature, and it's just a good time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!